Hey guys, welcome to another video and today's video is going to be a little special because this is something you guys have been requesting for a very very long time and there's a big reason why I haven't be, been doing this. Reason being when you talk about ROM reviews, you have to be very very precise because when you give a review to a particular ROM, you're talking about the software that you're going to recommend someone who's probably not as tech savvy as I am or you are. That is the reason ROM reviews has taken this long and finally we are starting with it and it is going to be a three video series as I announced a few days back. The first video of course is going to be an install and preview. The second video is going to be the first 24 hour impressions and finally the third video will be a complete review of that particular ROM. Today's video, well if you talk about today's video, it's probably about the best ROM that I've ever used till date on the Zenfone Pro M1. We are talking about Pixies OS 2.1 which is based on Android 9 Pie. Now there are several reasons why I say that this is the best ROM or this is one of the best ROMs and stuff like that and the reason I want you guys to use it. Now at the same time it is not to consider that this ROM doesn't have its bug or it doesn't lag or you know it plays PUBG at 60 frames per second without any lag. No, those are not the things. So I'll be giving you a very, very clear opinion of the first 24 hours of usage. In today's video, we will talk about the benchmark numbers. We will look at a little bit of PUBG gameplay on this particular ROM. We will have a look at the battery stats and we will have a look at any major bugs that I might have encountered in the first 24 hours. So without further ado, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because hey, we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Stay tuned on that one because that's about to get some action real soon. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let the ROM reviews begin. To lose yourself in time, to drive in line, to give... All right, guys, so welcome to the 24 hour initial impressions video for Pixies OS. Now, the version that we are talking about today is version 2.1. All right, so before we actually go ahead and look into the review we are going to talk about a couple of things here now first things first something that is very very important now as you all know i'm using a rom for two to three days and i am trying to get the maximum amount of information including bugs and features and stuff like that to you guys now if any of you guys are watching this video and on pixie os Please mention in the comment section a feature that you think is missing or a bug that you encountered. If it is a genuine bug, I will try to include it in the full review so that while the developer of this ROM watches that particular video, he can maybe fix it in the next update. So please do this going forward for each and every video. If you ever have a bug with a particular ROM, mention it in the comment section. I will go ahead and address it and see if it can be fixed, which will help us get better ROMs for this particular device. Now, beginning with this particular format first things first we're going to have a look at the benchmark numbers that is Antutu and Geekbench that is going to be the first thing secondly we are going to play a little bit of PUBG because that is the go-to game these days so we will play at least one match or maybe two to three minutes of PUBG to see if it is you know at all playable or not or if it is good or not and maybe later who knows after six or seven ROM reviews I can go ahead and compare all these clips and maybe make a final video out of it for you guys that this is the best ROM to play PUBG on that is for later now apart from the gaming review that is PUBG we will also quickly have a look at my initial impressions of what happened in the first 24 hours what difficulties that I faced I won't be getting into the details because this is the initial review remember so what we will be doing is we'll quickly have a look at all the things about this ROM and then tomorrow maybe I'll be releasing a full review which will have the features that I like the cons that a particular ROM has and the features that this particular ROM has and stuff like that. Nonetheless, let's begin with this particular video. So first things first, if we go to system and if we go to about phone, well, you would notice that this is Pixie OS version 2.1 released on 24th of September 2018, which of course is with a September security patch. So that is all about the ROM. Now let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers and I'll give you a brief information about this ROM before we actually get into gaming for this particular ROM. So first things first, let's quickly go ahead and look at Antutu benchmark here. All right. So the score that you can see is 112,883. Now this is something that I did after keeping the phone idle for 10 minutes. So this is a very, very decent score, something maybe a two to 3000 less compared to what the stock ROM gets. But if we have a look, CPU is 55270, GPU is 2722. 
UX is 31146 and memory is 5745. So that is pretty decent over there. Now, let me tell you while I run the benchmarks and while I did the gaming, I did not experience any heating issues at all. All right, now let's quickly have a look at Geekbench. All right, so the single core score was 1,324 and the multi-core score was 4,779. Now, I don't have the numbers for the stock ROM right now. So let me know in the comment section compared to the stock ROM, if you've run any, the, any of these benchmarks, how different it is. According to me, it is pretty, you know, similar, more or less the same. Now, let's quickly talk about the things that I like about this particular ROM. Now, right from the word go, where I when I was in version 2.0 from the first day, I noticed that this ROM is very, very rock solid and stable. That is the reason I praised it in the intro everything in this rom is almost perfect you can definitely use it as a daily driver now the reason i say is i have not faced any force closures i have not faced any heating issues and i have not had any battery drains matter of fact with the stock cable and the stock charger i was getting charging speeds of up to 1600 milliamp hours now that is not fast charging by any means but if you are a zenfone pro user you would notice that this device with custom roms has very very slow charging issues where it might take up to six hours for the phone to charge so that issue is not present in this particular rom or the stock kernel so kudos to the developer now apart from this what i would say is the smoothness on this particular rom is next level the ui is very very responsive even after not rebooting it for a day or two and stuff like that and if we talk about the battery life is something that i said in the initial stage you can see the usage for today so if you have a look the last charge was 16 hours back 14 hours left and if we have a look at the screen on time that is around four hours and five minutes so it easily gives me seven to eight hours of screen on time so the battery life is definitely not an issue the charging is definitely not an issue apart from this if we go to the settings menu and say where should we go we should go to advanced in display you have a lot of customization options now one thing that i really really like about this wrong especially when i'm coming from the one plus six is ambient notifications now as you know me, I have always been criticizing OnePlus for not giving always on display, but they had that very, very smart ambient display. Now what ambient display basically does is if your phone is screen off, that is the screen is turned off and if you get a notification, you would just get it over here. And I have seen that if you get a WhatsApp notification or a Telegram notification, you can directly reply from the ambient display. So that works really, really well. The face unlock, although not as fast as the stock ROM, it works definitely fine. Apart from that, the fingerprint scanner on this ROM has been brilliant. So it has not let me down after a day's usage or something. But one small bug or I don't know, I'm using the 3GB variant. So that might be the only thing with me or probably my phone. You know, the developer has done his excellent job. But what I have experienced is that without a reboot, if I use the phone for a day or maybe more than a day, even if the apps are clear, there are some lags here and there. And then if you do a reboot, the phone is good for another one day. So probably, you know, the developers, if you're looking at it, you guys have a brilliant ROM and I can easily say after trying at least 10 different ROMs for this particular device, you have a winner on your hands. If you could improve the memory management or something like that, I really don't know. I'm not into development. So just a suggestion if you can avoid those lags and stuff somehow well that would be brilliant now looking at the features again if you look at the UI style you have dark UI okay, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to settings we're gonna go to display advanced and let's go to black UI for that matter all right UI style applied okay now the app drawer so I'm using a custom launcher all right so the good thing is, yep, I would say the dark UI works just fine. So I take my words back on that. The dark UI and the black UI work just fine. The phone looks brilliant. Now, when I look at sound, there is something that I really, really want to share with you guys. If you are an audiophile, this ROM has definitely better audio capabilities compared to the stock ROM. So the AKG earphones that I use from my Note 9, they work well on this particular device and the audio quality is brilliant. So this ROM has you covered on that front as well. Going forward, if we go to security and location, all the usual stuff like pattern lock, fingerprint, smart lock, face auto unlock and stuff, everything works. And this option of fingerprint authentication, vibration. Now, if you go to advanced, you have double tap on lock screen, 
So all these features are basically working just fine. Now, the other thing that I liked here is if I go to digital well-being, although it is in beta, it is working just fine. And as you can see, I, I have used the phone approximately for four hours and 26 minutes today. Still, the battery is at 44%. Now, that is everything about the ROM, but not complete. Reason being, we are not done about a quick overview of ROM unless you talk about the camera. That is correct. Now, the stock camera that comes with the ROM is basically not Gcam, but the Google camera, and it does a pretty, pretty decent job is what I would say. But I'm someone who, you know, likes to use a Gcam for that matter. And this is not a ROM bug. Let me be very, very specific. That is a bug on this particular app that is Gcam, that the rear portrait mode doesn't work. But what does work is the front portrait. Now, as you can see, there are seven different conditions in which I have clicked portrait modes and it works excellent. And if you don't want portrait on the rear camera, well, Gcam does a brilliant job. So even on the camera front, if you install Gcam, you are good to go. So all in all, what I would like to sum up here before I go ahead and start playing PUBG towards the end and not to mention that there are no major bugs that I have encountered in this particular ROM so far. And this is just the first 24 to 36 hours of impression. Tomorrow again, I'll be shooting a complete review in which I'll be doing a point on point things. You know, I'll be nitpicking on this ROM probably if required to, you know, go ahead and maybe encourage the developer to do a better job because he's already doing an excellent job. So Akshat is the name. Thank you very much for this wonderful ROM for the Zenfone Pro M1. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and quickly play some PUBG and we'll see if it lags or not. And that should conclude our video and we should move on to maybe tomorrow for a full review. All right, so here's the first look of Pixie's OS. Now there was some lag right there. I don't want to jump together because I don't intend to play the full match. Yes, the stats will take a hit, but that's completely fine. Um, well, He's running just fine and the graphics look pretty decent as well. I do have a few dropped frames here and there and there is the lag. So let's choose where will we land. So we'll just about land anywhere because as I said, we don't intend to complete the game. And let's have a quick look at the plane. Now I've had a look at the XDA thread for this particular ROM and I have seen that there has been quite a lot of discussion about PUBG on this particular ROM. So this video should, you know, answer all those questions and maybe later we can see if we can put on a different kernel and try to play that game. Now let's jump here. All right. So. All right. Now I would say this is easily more than playable right now. It's not at all bad by any means. Now once we get down and once the building geometry comes into the picture is when we come to know if there is going to be a little lag or not and especially when somebody's going to shoot at you and stuff that is the time when PUBG usually lags so all right so looks like we have landed all right now let's okay there was some slight stutter over there all right another surprising thing I do have a Moto X style lying around and that plays PUBG surprisingly well and I have come down to an experience that it plays PUBG better than the Moto X uh, better than the Zenfone Pro M1 I'm sorry which is really really weird but it's probably due to Moto software because that phone is running a old 600 series processor um okay Looks like it's playing pretty decent. Uh, let's see if we can find a car or maybe a bike so that we can get into some action. And okay, let's fire a few shots over here. All right. So the audio is pretty good from the speaker. And as I said, this is one of the best ROMs when it comes to audio output for earphones as well. Okay, looks like we do have a vehicle over here. Now, the thing with this is we have landed pretty, pretty far, so it will take some time before we get into some action. I'm pretty sure we are, okay, we are not that far away from the play zone, so we should have some people around. And we've just picked around 60 bullets and uh, UMP9 and maybe a AK-47. It's not an AK-47, I guess it's a Tommy gun. What is it? 
Ah, uh, yeah, that's a Thompson SMG. So, all right. So the gameplay looks to be pretty smooth, and the moment I say smooth, there is a stutter that I see. Um, so it's definitely on par with stock, if not better, because in stock ROM we have a few lags here and there as well. And I think I can see a car. So. We're going to take that car, we're going to get into some action and that should answer a question as to how good this particular game plays. Now, it doesn't make any sense to have a frame rate counter over here because stutters is what matters. Now, if you were talking about something like a Snapdragon 845 or OnePlus 6 or maybe a Galaxy S9, then we can have a frame rate counter because that is top-notch performance. But this one is, of course, always going to have frame drops. So let's get into that car and let's see if we can find some action. Now mind you, there is no way that this game is not playable on this particular ROM. If all the cons that I just mentioned in the 24 hour review to you guys are okay, then you should definitely go for it even if you are a hardcore PUBG player because initially it did lag a bit and right now I think it's running pretty, pretty smooth. Of course, I will not be able to give you a final verdict. That is okay. See, there are a couple of stutters there. So that is what the final review is for that is going to come out tomorrow because today and tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have extensive gameplay of PUBG on this particular ROM. All right, so that was a brief gameplay of Player Unknown's Battleground. And from the first impression, it looks to be pretty okay. There are a few stutters here and there, which is very, very similar to Stock ROM and the Snapdragon 636. But what I would say is, this is the awesome rom the name is pixies os 2.1 based on android 9 the link is mentioned in the description go ahead and give it a try and if there is any particular bug that i've not mentioned in the first 24 hour review go ahead and mention it so that i can consider it test it in my full review and get back to you guys tomorrow for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye Decades, never to return, never to feel hope.